So find a posture that for you is comfortable, in which you can come home to the place where you are, taking your seat. There's a beautiful Zen saying that talks about being soft in the front, firm in the back. We could think of that both physically, the belly softening, the chest softening, the face and throat softening. While also the spine is fairly stable and erect like little building blocks resting on top of each other. Stable with your feet, your arms and hands. And you can also get a sense of being soft in the front and firm in the back in terms of your mind. A soft receptivity or whatever is arising without gathering around it, without pushing anything away or grasping after anything, soft, as experiences keep landing in awareness, keep arising with an underlying firmness of intent to remain present stable, committed to this time and practice of meditation, renouncing all else. Allowing sounds to pass through awareness you might be able to hear the sound of rain right now in landing on the roof of my home. There may be other sounds in your own environment. Staying present while sounds occur. Coming home to sensations in your body. You can have a sense of the breath continually arriving. Flowing in and flowing out. In the present, the sensations of exhaling and inhaling continually arriving 
and passing away. And as we rest in the present, other things fall away. You can be aware of a gradual easing of tension in the body, gradual releasing of stresses. You can also gently encourage these to let go, disengaging from preoccupations, contractions, exploring what it's like during this practice of, in a sense, being indifferent to trains of thought that try to carry you away. caring more about the peacefulness of presence than caring about any particular fantasy to indulge or any particular problem to think about. Carry, caring more about the peacefulness of simple open presence.
in your sense of open presence. See if you can find a sense of the heart, perhaps already included, or you might deliberately invite a sense of the heart to be included in your open presence. And knowing what it's like to rest stably in heartfelt open presence. Increasingly disengaged from any particular thing passing through awareness as you sink increasingly deeply into the sense of heartfelt open presence.
aware of the body, stabilizing in heartfelt, open presence, disengaging from thoughts, not resisting them, simply being indifferent to them, disengaging from them, being uninterested in thoughts. Instead, being interested in what it's like to rest in heartfelt open presence, including its aspect of being distinct from becoming. Letting go of any investment in becoming. And foregrounding, highlighting a sense of simply being in the present. What a relief. Nothing to become, no one to become, simply being open-hearted in the present. As you rest in stably being, there could be a knowing emerging that this quality of being, 
underlies all becoming. And that you can get in touch with it in your regular life while you are dealing with this and that underneath it all. There is an ongoingness of being that is the space or container or ground of all doing and all becoming. There can be a direct knowing of this, deeper than thought. And as you rest more and more deeply in being, there can be a kind of softening of edges between inner and outer. A growing knowing that inner and outer are entwined. growing sense that what is experienced in the inner is very connected with and in some ways being continuously made by what is happening in the outer. Even as the inner flows out into the outer, inner, outer, same, same. Resting in being. 